Today, we're going to be looking at the old Nikon D300. It certainly was ahead of its day in 2007. How does it stand up to today's modern cameras in 2020? Hello, I'm Alan Scott. I'm a wildlife photographer here in Cumbria. And today, I want to tell you about the Nikon D300. It's an old camera, uh, by old I mean 13 years old, which is old by modern standards. Um, it was released in 2007. It has a, a DX crop factor, 1.5 crop factor, which is useful when added to a telephoto lens in order to get that little bit closer to the, uh, the subject. It feels really great in the hand. It's, it's, uh, I like a heavy camera and it is heavy. I prefer a heavy camera as you can hold them steadier than uh, the light ones. That's just a personal thing. The function buttons are all on the outside. Um, there's nothing worse uh, than being out, out in the field taking wildlife photographs, realizing you're going to have to change something, so having to go into the menu and you miss the shot. Whereas with all these buttons, all the main function buttons are on the outside, so you very rarely need to go into the menu. So that is a definite bonus for uh, taking wildlife shots. The sensor is 12.3, and uh, when it's combined with a, a Tamron 150 to 600 lens, I can get stunning wall images up to 20 by 30 inches, or even 30 by 40 at a push, if there's lots of light and its uh, conditions are right. With a shutter speed of an 8,000th of a second, and eight frames per second, what is there not to like from a camera you can now pick up for just over a hundred pounds? The Nikon D300 combined with a good lens will give fantastic images and uh, I just I just love it. I just love the old beast. If you've stayed with the video this long, thank you very much. I think you'll agree that for such an old camera, the images are really great. They're uh, quite stunning for a 13 year old camera. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you'd like to leave them in the comments below, that would be, that would be great. And if you'd give me a thumbs up, that would be brilliant. Or a thumbs down if you didn't like the video, that's fine too. Please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.